Disclaimer. This video was recorded a few months ago and it's not part of Captain Narco's current travels. However, it's still super awesome. You should definitely watch it. This is a video you guys have never seen because I never posted it. I made it this summer. It took me a couple of weeks to make. Check it out. It's pretty great. I wish I got that clip on my Canon and not my cell phone, but it just happened too quick. Either way, you might find today's video hella interesting. So today we're heading to Whitewater Preserve. Why is this interesting? Well, for one, I've never heard of it until recently, but way more importantly, where does all this water go? And where does it come from? Welcome to Whitewater. It's over 100 degrees today, and the sun is pretty harsh. I'm definitely gonna need to procure a better hat. Welcome to Whitewater. Now please read the rules. Hmm. Dogs on leash are welcome. No amplified sound, no fires, no hunting or shooting, no alcohol or glass, no drones. Narkill, land, land the drone. No, no drones? Yeah, no, no drones. Oh, my bad. What about nudity? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about nudity. I, I think you're good. You're good on the, uh, on the nudity there. All right, cool, I'm good. So the ranger station a little further upstream here is closed. The whole visitor area is closed. Everything's closed. I think because it's fire season, it has something to do with fires, I believe. So there's no one to talk to there. However, when I was coming in here and I was at the bridge, kind of at the rougher part of the river where you're not allowed to swim, security rolled up on me. And I was just thinking, oh man, it's a clear dark night, a clear white moon. Regulators, mount up. But uh, no, actually he was super chill. He was just a really old guy that uh, was really bored. And aside from his really uh, savage dry mouth, but he told me some interesting facts. He uh, said that two years ago, a child went swimming in the river here and uh, she was about to drown. So the dad jumped in after her and they both ended up drowning. So it's now illegal to swim downstream from here. And he also told me some other stuff like just last week, a couple of kayakers rolled up here, unloaded their yaks. And you know, they thought they're gonna go whitewater rafting over here at the Whitewater River. And uh, they were surprised to encounter the regulator at the front gate. Uh, he was actually a super chill dude. And then driving a little bit further up the road, right after I uh, landed the drone from that one shot, I had this guy in a big old cowboy hat and a rental car roll up to me and he was looking for some cattle. He said he acquired some deal where he was gonna round up all the cattle here and like export them somewhere else or something. I don't know, I, as much as I wanted to tell him otherwise, I told him the truth. I have not seen any cows since I've been here. Nonetheless, I haven't even seen any cattle guards. So I thought that was a pretty weird encounter. Should have filmed him, he was definitely, he looked like he was from Texas. He had like a nice nice shirt on and a cowboy hat and a big old boiler and uh, I don't know, he was just looking, he was all about those cows, man. And as interesting as all that is, it's not the part that I find most interesting. <laughs> Um, are those black beans or something else? Oh, dude, maybe I spoke too soon. There's a freaking antelope goat thing over here. Check this out. Oh, crikey, there's actually three of them there. My lord. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Wow, what a beauty. Look at the horns on that thing. That thing could play some serious football for the Rams. Look at that speed. Wow. Incredible. 
As amazing as that was, there's something I find even more interesting about the Whitewater River, and that is the water itself. The Whitewater River has three tributaries up in the San Bernardino Mountains behind me, kind of by Big Bear, but at the same time, not really. It's in a very remote part of the mountain, and uh, it flows down. There's a fish hatchery somewhere along the line, which kind of explains the fishy smell here. Although I wouldn't let that deter you from uh, visiting or taking a dip. It's absolutely refreshing. Then it flows down to where we are now, which is a really nice place to hang out and uh, at times could be super touristy. And then it keeps going to an area that is uh, very rough, very dangerous. And uh, like you saw, there's security at some parts. And then it meets up with the Colorado River in the form of an aqueduct and feeds showerheads in Palm Springs across hotels and resorts. And then it pours all over fine five-star golf courses in Palm Desert. And then it comes out of faucets and family homes in Cathedral City and so on and so forth through Indio and then supposedly dumps into the Salton Sea. Now, here's the part I find extremely interesting is this may be a solution to the Salton Sea crisis. You know, when you hear solutions to the Salton Sea problem, you hear stuff like, you know, piping water from the uh, Sea of Cortez via a big expensive pipeline or uh, somehow do something weird with the New River, which is a very polluted, very nasty river that comes out of uh, Mexico. But you never really hear anything about the Whitewater River. And I find that really interesting, especially because a lot of parts of this river are uh, near impossible to access. So it's almost like, I don't know, this, there might be a conspiracy theory going on here. I'm not really sure. But I think the solution, what if the Whitewater River could flow uninhibited along with the water gathered along the Colorado River aqueduct float into the Salton Sea for just 24 hours? That seems to me like that would be plenty of water to fix the Salton Sea crisis. Or what if it just flowed an hour a day for an entire month? I don't know, I think Sonny Bono would be proud of my uh, detective and investigative work here at the Whitewater River. This is what I find most interesting about this river. It just may be a solution to the Salton Sea crisis. Because that sucker's shrinking, and it's shrinking fast. And when it does, well, if you've done research, you know that uh, it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be a giant dust bowl of toxins, and it's gonna just blow all over the Palm Springs area, as well as the entire Coachella Valley, and it's gonna be an absolute nightmare for the future generation, maybe sooner. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy a nice soak here, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It's free, you have nothing to lose. Also give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.